Hi folks, good afternoon from Donegal, Ireland, John is Paris by now. I, there's a new plugin just after being released, it's called Pre-Published Checklist and it's from Brainstorm Force, the guys that make the Astra theme and they make, um, they, they make tons of stuff actually. If we go over to the WordPress repository, I'll just copy their name there, we'll go over to WordPress, period, WordPress dog org we'll go to plugins and we'll go search plugins brainstorm force and we will see that they make different add-on plugins there for that's header footer blocks for elementor a uh, full with templates for any team and page builder for doing page templates header footer for beaver builder they do a lot of stuff for beaver builder of course and I think they do extension plugins for some of the other teams and stuff as well, custom fonts they have here and uh, and stuff like that. If we actually go over to the WordPress Astro website that they build, we can get a good idea of what they do. They have they have the starter sites and they have a uh, what have they got here actually as well that if we go into the they do I thought they were all listed here where's the if we go to pricing actually we can see what they do here that if you just buy Astro Pro on its own you get Astro Pro and the starter sites and unlimited usage see all features yeah that's just the features but if you buy the mini mini agency bundle you get ultimate add-ons for Elementor and ultimate add-ons for Beaver Builder. And then if you buy the agency version package, of course, don't forget there's annual and lifetime uh, payment options up the top there. But the agency bundle for a one-off payment, you get unlimited usage of all these things here. And you get the Convert Pro plugin for doing the pop-ups and the schema for your structured data markup with google and you get access to all their future plugins as well i actually have this agency package myself i use it in my own business but whatever there guys that i don't want to keep babbling on about this and everything the main point that i want to get at is their new plugin that i mentioned there we have a pre-published checklist here it is and what this does is it creates a checklist in the WordPress dashboard admin for you to tick off the lines, the boxes uh, to make sure that you have all the content for your post. So we can see here, we can just see here in the screenshots. I'll just log in and show it to you actually you guys, it's probably better there. But uh, what does it say here? under the FAQs? It says, where will I find the pre-published checklist settings? And that's a... Uh, in the WordPress dashboard, how will it appear? The checkbox will appear within a meta box on the post page edit screen. Yeah, I'll show you that in a second. And there are some default checklists available to get you started so that you will understand it. So I'm going to go over to my recipe directory website that's called Tasty Listings that I'll be launching soon. And I'm going to, I've already searched for pre published checklist over here in the add plugin screen and it comes up here so I'm going to activate this now it's just going to take a second and we have it activated now so I think it's under settings isn't it there we go pre-published checklist and we want to set up that where it is to appear and what post types and pages it's going to appear on things like that so our first option here is that a prevent user from publishing page post user will not be able to publish the page or post until all the points in the checklist are covered that's very handy actually so that will actually uh, warn you and um, that or prevent you from publishing a post uh, that is missing data warn users before publishing the warning message will be displayed when the user clicks on the publish button fair enough do nothing and publish 
the user will be allowed to publish the page with, with or without a warning. So I suppose it depends on maybe the clients that you're dealing with, how technically uh, literate they are. You might you might do nothing or you might want to have the warning all the time. So this is the thing now that we can decide where we want the checklist to appear. At the moment, it's only set for posts and pages, okay? So I'm just gonna go over to a post. I'm gonna go add new and we're gonna go here and I have just different things here. I'm just gonna close a lot of this guys because it's not relevant to this tutorial and it could be a bit distracting. So just close that. Here is our pre-published checklist, okay? And this is for just our normal posts and we have the different things here. It, it is reminding us that we need a featured image, a category selected, formatting done for our text, a title is catchy, social images assigned for our SEO, the SEO spelling and grammar is checked. So the great thing about this plugin is that we can edit all of this. We can add in things there. So pre-published checklist, we can go over here, we can have pre-published checklist is here, and I'm going to add to the list. I will just um, say for say for uh, recipes, I will just say, uh, I'll just put in a reminder, uh, have, have I added a PROC process uh, photos? And add to list, when I go over to my post, and we'll see over here on the right that when I refresh the page that the extra option is there now at the bottom and you can tick that off to remind yourself that you have added the process photos and you can even change the order it is say you want that up the top or something like that so all you do is drag and drop that little handle there move them around as you want you know really easy move them around so that's that there in the getting started screen select the action and uh, that's yeah so general list there so i want to save that now after of course changing the checklist there i've saved it there so general general settings so i'm just wondering there now yeah, I was just checking the documentation there. I had the video paused and I was wondering, could you make different checklists for different post types? And unfortunately at the moment you can't, but they, it, it, this plugin has literally only been released, I think it's five days ago. And so just lots of different feature requests uh, going in. And that is one of the feature requests that the guys are hoping to release in a future update that you can have different lists for different post types because you can see on this website I'm using a thing called Metabox down here in the left corner and I've created a thing called a CPT, a custom post type. You can see here that I have recipes here and that when we go there we can go add new. This is for the recipe listings, the recipe directory and we can see here that our checklist is not here yet because that's because the box here is not selected so if i save that there really quickly and just refresh this page we can see now that the pre-published checklist is here now in the top right for my custom post type called recipes and we can see here that we have the same things as we have on the other posts. So because it's a different type post, it'd be really great if we could have a different type list and everything to make it more flexible for, for different post types. But you get the idea, It's and I forgot to mention it as well, it's 100% free on the WordPress repository. You don't, there's absolutely no fees or different uh, different types of this plugin. There's not a free and a pro version. It, there's just one version that's free on the WordPress repository. If you search for a pre-published checklist by Brainstorm Force, you will find it, download it, install it, and I've just showed you there that you will, und it's under the settings, pre-published checklist, you want to set up your warning there. You want to select here what post types that you want it to appear on. And then 
you set the type of checklist there and you can add and edit and delete items and then they tell you there how to get started so guys i think that's about it really that i've covered everything there and it's just that i see in the recipe groups on facebook there all the time about people looking for the optimal posting strategy and stuff and i thought that i'd just do a quick review of this plugin and show it to you guys because i think it's a brilliant plugin to install and have on your site because it'll prevent you from making any blunders with a uh, of missing data on pages and posts that's why the guys the guys actually built it for themselves in brainstorm force company for that reason and now they've released it to the public as well what they've done so that's all i wanted to show you there guys you know that uh, yeah i've loads of different uh, things here for this post type uh, for your recipe preparation time and also i could put in reminders here have i added in the structure data and have i added my images for seo and my social links are they correct and are my keywords correct and everything so you know you can get a little system there going and make your whole process streamlined and secure as well and you could and of course continuously review it as well and get it better and better so i hope you enjoyed the little tutorial video folks and happy sunday from ireland have a super day talk to you again really shortly thanks very much bye for now